going to be up to a judge to decide if Wilson lives there or doesn't live there, but his victory in November is certainly in jeopardy. So how difficult is it to prove where someone lives in this city, especially if they own more than one property? And what exactly does the law say when it comes to elections? Well, joining us live in the newsroom now is Fox 26 legal analyst Chris Tritico, Fox 26 news analyst Mustafa Tamiz, public policy analyst Jackie Bally, and our special guest of the morning, radio host Chris Baker. Good morning, you guys. And Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Well, we're glad to have Chris back. You know, Chris was one of our first uh, panel members here, and he moved to Omaha, Nebraska. We don't know why yet, uh, and he, but he came back for a visit. Chris, we're glad to have you back. I, I'm, I'm very happy to be on a parole. And <laughs> happy to. <laughs> let, let me talk to you, Dominic, a little bit about the law. Uh, first, what uh, what the issue is, is 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 where does he live? And this has been litigated in the past. Uh, Years ago, there was a, a state district judge uh, here in, 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 the, in the Harris County that was accused of actually living in Galveston County. And he said, no, I have a boat that's in Harris County and I live on that boat. At the end of that case, uh, it, it, uh, what the court ruled was, it's where you intend to reside that is, the, that is what your residence is. And so the fact that you have multiple places doesn't necessarily mean you don't live in the place you say. This is not an e as easy a case as they think. What hurts Mr. Wilson is the fact that he lied <clears throat> to get elected, and that's, that's probably causing a little bit of what's going on here. But second, this is the second time he's had to face this allegation. The Harris County uh, Democratic Party refused to put him on the ballot uh, in about, I don't know, eight or ten years ago, I don't remember, for the exact same reason for the, and over the exact same address. And so this litigation is something that has, has not something that's new to Mr. Wilson and something that he's ready to defend, but we'll see where it happens. And we'll start with our special guest, Chris Baker. Should a guy who lied about his ethnicity to get on the ballot, and now it looks like he doesn't even live in the district, where's this going to go? Well, first of all, I'm shocked that a person in politics would misrepresent a position or anything else to get elected. Uh, you know, what I'd like to say is, is, first of all, obviously some people didn't do their homework. I mean, as you say, he's been in trouble for this before. Once he filed to run for this office, maybe somebody should have done some homework and the people that voted for him maybe should have paid a little bit more attention. Uh, you know, what kind of job can he do? I mean, that's really what I think is going to come down to. What kind of job can he do? Can he actually do this job? And, and maybe it might be interesting to find out whether he can or not. And we might. Mustafa Tamiz, where, where do you think this thing goes? I mean, this is the second time before. He's not even taken office yet, and he's the second, second controversy he's been involved in. Well, I think Dave Wilson's one of those people that, that makes fun of democracy. I mean, he, he's made fun of democracy when he ran, pretending to be someone that he's not. He faked an endorsement from another elected official by saying that he has a cousin named the exact same person that's endorsing him. Uh, and now the fact that he doesn't live there for the second time this has been brought up. Uh, I, I, I think that uh, the county attorney, Vince Ryan, is doing the right thing. I think he's challenging his residency. I don't think it's an easy case to build. But Mr. Wilson uh, has been unapologetic uh, about other things. So he might be unapologetic about this, and therefore, he may be out of office. And Jackie, I want you to talk about the Vince Ryan part of that in just a second. I want to go to Domily first. Domily's monitoring our social media accounts. Look how easy that flowed off. I've been practicing all week. <laughs> social media, social media, <laughs> social media. Way to go, Chris Tritico. Oh, guys, this is just an absolute mess. You know, Kenneth Morris on my Facebook page says, it's really unfortunate that such a mockery was made using one of the sacred rights we have as U.S. citizens, the right to vote. From the initial debut of the story, it seemed like the entire thing was a sham. I hope justice is served and the situation is corrected immediately. Will that actually happen? Well, we'll have to see. I mean, and, and it's going to be it's going to be litigated, and he's going to take his seat before the litigation is over, and then we'll see what happens if if the if the county wins this suit, then he'll be removed from office. Jackie Bally, is the county attorney filing this suit sour grapes because he lied about his ethnicity? Or you have to you live think? in the district uh, to represent the, your constituents. So uh, several sources were reported to Vince Ryan, and he did his research. And uh, where Mr. Wilson says he lives now is an apartment above his office. His wife, who he separated from, he has said back in 2010 he separated from her. Now he's, <coughs> he doesn't really comment. She actually lives in the district, but they do not live together. You do have to live in the, the, the district to represent your constituents. So he has a valid case. It's going to be a very difficult case to prove. But if they monitor him, and you can just see where he's going and coming, it'll be easier to prove. But 
he's still in litigation for when he did this the, the last time. The first time, right, So when he was a when, Democrat. Right, so <laughs> we're still going to have to deal with him in office, and the fact that he did lie about his ethnicity, and he lied about certain, um, or at least gave a different impression of certain endorsements that he had to get in there, he's always skirted election laws. This is not the first time he's done this, it won't be the last. And he and doesn't have the respect of the people. I gotta exactly. go, I'm sorry, we're out of time. And so we're gonna come back here in a little bit, uh, Domily, with another really, really good topic. And that topic happens to be about Duck Dynasty. Duck oh Dynasty. my goodness, I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about that one. Shave. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. <laughs>